<laughs> I don't mind making you happy. Make you happy. No, no. I Ready? don't mind making your day. <laughs> is that the words? Yeah. I don't, um, I don't know the chorus. My favorite part is love it, dove it. Love it, dove it. <laughs> <laughs> Some be happy but me and another thunder. Love I sing about. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> when I need my okay, all right, baby. We got this for real. Because <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, what? yo, listen, if y'all don't know that song, I feel bad for you. It's, <laughs> it's Gerald Levert, uh, my song. In my songs. In my song. One of the greatest joints ever. Yeah. Um, but the intro was the best part. And <laughs> it's not supposed to be funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not supposed to be funny because he's talking about his dead son. It's not funny. But, man. And R.I.P. Gerald Levert. I don't yeah, want to just minimize Gerald him Levert. to being his dead son. He was uh, a powerhouse. The teddy <laughs> that y'all <The> vel- <laughs> that y'all call, <laughs> call the, the velvet teddy, teddy bear. bear. You uh, forgot velvet. Vel- the velvet teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, no one's laughing. No, it's okay. It's uh, no okay. one's gonna get it. it They're it, not gonna get it. You, once they listen to the song, they'll get it. That's like, um, what's the other song that every time something happens, you say the beginning of it, the uh, LSG song? What the LSG song? Um, no, no. How does it start off? <laughs> what? It, when it first comes on, it's it says something, and I forgot what it was. What's the song? It's not my. It's ah. Uh, it's the beginning of the song. Oh my gosh, that's gonna make me so mad. You gotta find it now. You have to find it now. Oh, it's so stupid. I thought, I thought you saw my my favorite song ever. What? Uh, uh, with a party at. You know that's that. No, the, we already know. We already know what that yeah. does. We already know what that does when uh, when it hits the dance floor. Listen. When it hits the speakers. Listen, greatest rap mm-hmm. of all time. Don't do that. Nelly. We were just talking about Wale on No Hands. That second. That second. But That's, what about Lil Zane on any feature? You know, I had an argument with somebody about Lil Zane. No, you didn't. Did I you defend a, him? I was defending the fuck out of I him. I know yes. that's right. I know shit. that's right. One of the best features of all time. Ever. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I know y'all saying some shit in See, here. So we going to put the back. Hey, come on. Come on. That's all I know. When 112 sing to you, what kind of feeling do it bring to you? I put my heart to you, say I'm being mean to you. All right, baby. I didn't want you to do the rest of it. We could do it in the back behind with the top down. Okay. All right, I'm done. I'm done. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's that shit right there, uh, man. The LSG song, when it first comes on, every time I say the words, you say body. that part. Bo- that's what it is. Body. Yeah. <laughs> you be like, oh, my body hurts. So you be like, body. body. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. All right, forget it. Don't worry about uh, listen, it. Listen, listen. I think that was just for us. That That's how you know we really like each other. <laughs> Because we're stupid, you know. Because we have, because we have little things that, like, you know, we do that we like. Cool. Whatever. We be fucking too, and I think that shows. <laughs> that shows that we like something about each other. That's what I think it does. Um, I got, I got to do some housekeeping real quick. Uh, D, remember keep it on that middle one. D, don't be switching. Keep it on that middle one. What happened? Right down the middle. Okay. See, right I don't understand none of that shit. Not on the left side, not on the right, right down the middle. Okay. All right, I just wanted to make sure. Jeez. Hey, baby. Hey. What's up? I don't know, man. Um, You know, shit. Our internet is out, by the way, so I'm letting y'all know now. There might be hella topics, or there might be no topics because we can't read shit because the internet is out. Yeah, the internet is yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And that's not our fault. We paid the bill. I think it's the neighborhood. Yeah, the whole neighborhood. neighborhood. And how did I know? Because you have the fucking neighborhood. The fucking app. neighborhood app. He's a seventy-five-year-old woman. Why I gotta be all that? Because those are the only people that have the neighborhood app. That's not true. The neighborhood app. First of all, you keep your neighborhood safe, huh? And I always know when there's shots fired, or if it sounds like shots. Yeah, that's the problem. Everybody think it sounds like shots, and they go out there and try to do something about it. Yeah, like, no. No. Now. Now. No, that's now. neighborhood you watch. And we don't fuck with them, do we? Well, the according, according to you yesterday. No, we don't fuck with them. 
<laughs> he know who he know who he is. What? Everybody know who he is. What the fuck you talking about? I, not, I didn't say nothing. Anyway, um, yeah, but I don't know nobody else that that is on the neighborhood. Why? Like, I think y'all treat that like Facebook. It is. It is because you know, and you can talk to people, and you can put like comments and everything. Yeah, that's wild. No, it's it's safe. Is it? Yeah, you want your neighbors to know. Like, why can't we go back to the days when our neighbors knew us? You don't even want to go talk to our neighbors. I talk to our neighbors. When they talk to you, you don't voluntarily just be like, yo. Well, I, that's creepy to just voluntarily come up to somebody and say, hey, how you doing? Why? They do that to you? Why is that creepy? Because they creepy. They're not creepy. They're regular. I think we're at that age now where we're supposed to talk to our neighbors. I guess. I think we've been there, but I think we're at that age where it's like, hey, like when we first got here, the neighbors across the street ran across the street and were like, hey, oh my God, welcome to the neighborhood. And that wasn't creepy? I don't know. It, it just reminded me of like, you know the movies where it's like the town. Yeah, right before they like get shot or stabbed or some shit. It's, it's like yeah, like that kind of stuff. Like, but I, I think I mean it's cool. I shouldn't look at it like it's strange. I think we should all be nice like that or something. Oh, look at you! Ben. I don't know. That's what they tell me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't like one of the, nice. uh, one of our neighbors said something to me today. What did she say? Something about kids. It was like fuck them kids or something like that, and I was like, oh, I, I, you don't know how I feel about my kids, but whatever. You would have said the same thing. I, what I neighbor was it? Um, the the lady's daughter. Oh, but she's young, yeah, so I, yeah. I could see fuck them kids. I, I understood die. that. I understood I that from that. her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I get um, it. But yeah, I, I like our neighbors though. Okay, that's cool. I um, I know y'all probably think wondering. Nobody cares about that. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna address this up top before we even start the show. Okay. Um. There's a new name. Oh, yeah, there's that. There, there's, there's a new fucking name. There's a, you can't say fuck. You got to chill out. I can't say that? Yeah, you got to wait. It's been more, more than two minutes. Okay. Um, uh, Yeah, we got a new name. Do you want to talk about it? Because everybody's like, why? Why would you change the name? Why are you going to change the name if you're still going to talk about sex? Why? Like, I don't understand. Like, explain it. All right. Well, first and foremost, um, we... Did not want to change the name. Nope. Partially. I've been thinking about changing the name for a couple of months now. Before all of the drama started, I was thinking about changing the name because I think if you've listened to the show, um, I read a comment. I read a comment from somebody uh, that listens on Spotify. Shout out to all y'all listening on Spotify. Um, and the comment basically read, um, I love y'all. Y'all don't talk about sex as much as you used to, but I still love the show. Um, or I wish y'all still talked about sex the way I used to, but I still love the show. The show has evolved. Yeah. You know, from from its inception. So I've I've been thinking about changing the name because of that. But also, we put a lot into this show. We put a lot of time and effort and money, money into this show. And we have to be able to see that money back. And one of the ways you see that is through sponsorships. And they and not fucking with us. Don't nobody want to fuck with us with no. the word sex. Yeah, it's, uh, not, it's not happening. Yeah, so we had to... Um, <clears throat> we So I've been thinking about it. And then about a month ago, our account got um, deleted or deactivated. Yeah. Our account got deactivated on Instagram. Um, and my Facebook page, basically over a half a million people up there, no one seeing my post. And it's it's been social media. TikTok took us down about six to eight oh, months. Oh yeah, they've been they've been able Yeah, with us. got rid of us. Yeah. Um so we were I was I was researching and researching why is these things happening because you know we try to edit the clips as much as possible. Um, and it all comes back to the word sex. He wasn't researching. This was stuff that I've been said to him, and he don't want to listen when I say it. He oh want to act God. like he says I did every single time. Oh, my, oh God. my God. I can't believe I thought of this. I cannot believe I, nobody I ever said I, anything no, like no, this to no. me. No, no, no. But I didn't think that it was really the word sex until I actually talked to somebody. That wasn't me. No, because but Because I, I had already done I all that work. I talked to somebody from Facebook. Yeah, I already done that work. <clears throat> you didn't talk to somebody from Facebook, though. I talked to other people that had podcast and had information and looked at the articles that talked about fuck what them articles you. them niggas don't know what they're talking about well, anyway. they did because they told you exact same information anyway the word sex that's crazy uh even written out 
is a big problem on the internet. Yes. Um, so with all those things and all those concerns and just looking at how we're trying to evolve, we thought that it was in the best interest to change the name. And it's not too far from the other one. Yeah. But for now on, this show will be considered and then we and i think it opens you up to talking about a lot of other shit anyway yeah, yeah. like and then we what like which we do which i yeah. mean and we still gonna talk about nah, we still gonna like because you know you talk about a lot when you don't have a lot of sex that's all you can do is talk about it and i think <laughs> that's what makes us special and sometimes i hold sex away from you just so we can have something to talk about on the podcast and that's your fault because you started this shit you welcome don't front like nah, I'm you, here was for giving, the people. you was giving ass before the show. I wasn't giving ass before the show. No. I was not giving ass before the show. You ain't got to ask me twice. I said no. Wow. That's not what you said to me. You wasn't giving ass. You haven't given ass since you said I'm pregnant. We, which was before the show. We just had sex the other day. No, don't try to bring up the other day. You had sex. <laughs> I did have said we're gonna talk about that a little later too. Oh, let's talk about it. Um, but yeah, yeah. So it's and then we uh if you come to a live show this year, it'll still be and then we had sex. But um the the official you change try to turn it over as best as yeah, we can. Yeah, we're we're trying to slowly as possible. Um you can still go get your tickets at and then we had sex.com and all that. But uh towards the new year, uh we're trying to have everything to and then we. So, um, that but our is Facebook the has been and then we, our YouTube has been and then we, so yeah. it's been like that, yeah. Um, because, because of those reasons, yeah. Before we even, yeah, I don't know why we didn't do it with everything else, but yeah, so yeah. So, um, uh, with that being that said, is. it's J Rod, Chris and Savills, and then we, the podcast. Oh, that sounds weird, it does sound weird. Wow, uh, I'm gonna try it again though. It's J Rod, Chris and Savills, and then we, the podcast. I don't like the way you said it. Is it the pause? <laughs> it's really bad. It, it is, it's <laughs> wild, man. Hold on, I'm gonna try it one more time. <clears throat> it's J Rod, Chris and Savills, and then we, the podcast, the fastest growing podcast in St. Paul, Minnesota. Hey, beep, 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 beep. Okay. I still don't like it, but I'm it'll grow on me. <laughs> well, you didn't like it the first time I did, and then we had sex the podcast. Yeah, I don't, I don't, and it just sounds stupid. It does, and yeah. then we sounds crazy, yeah. but you know, it's all good. It'll grow on everybody. I promise. No, it won't. I promise. No, it won't. You yeah. can't tell nobody it's gonna grow. I, I don't like it. It's fine. I mean, I don't have a choice, but I don't like it. Oh. It's okay. Um, St. Paul, Minnesota, like I said. Shout out to Minnesota. We're going to be there October 8th. No, we won't. Yeah, we will. It'll be in Minneapolis. Oh. Say it again. Say it again. That's crazy. Say it again. No, I'm okay. I'm fine. I got it. It's cool. Do you? No, I'm I, honestly, I'm cool. What? You you got other stuff to say. Nigga, Karma San Diego didn't know your ass, God damn it. Uh, that wasn't good. But it's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> Talk your shit. That wasn't funny. Talk your shit. Oh, she mad now. I mm. like it. I like mm. it. Um, This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Therapy Online. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash ATWHS today to get 10% off your first month. How was your week? I think it was cool. Okay, you want to elaborate? No. Nope. All right. I don't remember why it was cool, but I think... Did we go anywhere? We didn't go anywhere, Yes, right? we did. We, we were in um, Hartford and... Oh, we talked about Hartford? No, we didn't. Oh, it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> we were in Hartford and we went somewhere else besides Hartford. Um, we were somewhere else. Columbus. Columbus. Columbus and Hartford. We did do Columbus. Yeah, in Hartford. Yeah. You want to talk about it? I mean... Are they in your top? Is it? Let's start with that. Are they in your top? <sighs> That's such a strong... It's. You know what? I don't... <sighs> be, be truthful. God watching you. What? God. He was there too. If he was there, <laughs> if he was there, that was one more person that was there. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so, as we said, a lot of people aren't seeing our stuff. So, a lot of people weren't at uh, a lot of our shows because they did not see our ads. They did not. Like, we weren't getting any of our things out. So, we did have a strong, uh, small and mighty crowd. Uh, and we had a decent crowd in Columbus. And we had a small crowd in um, Hartford. But we had a good time. Um, Columbus was... 
Tell the truth. What was Columbus? Was Columbus cool? Mm. It was Columbus. I had the people that were there that were fun were fun. Right. And and we had a decent time. It was cool. Um, And then we went to Hartford and then we came home. So I think that was my week. That's it. Hartford. Listen, I love y'all. The people that were there that were in it. I love y'all. Some of y'all act like y'all didn't know what show y'all was coming to see. Um, And we have not in the history of doing this tour for about, what, two years? Yeah. Doing this tour, all the dates that we've done. It's actually been over two years because we started pre-pandemic. But never have we had a city where nobody wanted to play the game. We have like two or three games depending on the flow of the show. Mm -hmm. And we've never had anyone not want to play the the big game that we play at the end. And if you've been to a show, you know what that game is. And no one in Hartford wanted to play this game. Wild. Nobody wanted to play. And I was like, I had to convince them to come and play the game. No one wanted to play the game. And I was like, I've never seen this before. Our host, shout out to Cletus Cassidy, had to get up and play the game with one of the people in the audience. Like, cause you need like pairs of people to play the game. And he had to play. I've never seen that. I've never seen people just not want to play the game. And that kind of took me out of it a little bit. Cause I was like, oh, this y'all ain't really here to, you know, to have the time that we think we're supposed to have. Then. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it was cool, but like, I'm not shitting on y'all. I'm not shitting on all I'm y'all. Shitting. I'm not shitting on all y'all. Little it busy. was just the energy just wasn't, it wasn't my favorite. I it wasn't that. my favorite. The people that we did meet, um, which was like four. Three. It was four. It was three. It was four, baby. One, two. Oh, you no, it was five. Okay. It was five. You're um right. <clears throat> we're cool people. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate everybody that bought tickets and came, but the energy was just not. I don't know, man. I think I had a I had a we did last time we went last year, we had a good time. Great time. And last we had year. A, we had a small crowd last time in Hartford too, but we had a really good time. But this time I don't know what was going on. I don't know. I don't know if it, yeah, I don't know if somebody was talking shit about us before we got on stage. I don't know. Like that shit was it was I mean, but uh, you know, like I said, the people we met was cool. I'm talking all over myself because I don't really know what to say. I just ain't never seen that before. But mm-hmm. um with a lot of these cities, we want to come everywhere. Like, we want to come and do all the cities. We want to do... But, like, I don't know. I, don't know. It was, I mean, it was, you know. Okay. We went to Hartford. Well, my week was... Uh, my week was stressful. Um, like I said earlier, we were dealing with all this stuff with the new name change and trying to get things uh, prepared. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, we did go out to Hartford and Columbus. Both shows and... Eh. Um, the crowd, yeah, like this this is the thing. We tell y'all, hey, we're gonna be in your city, come to the show. And we expect y'all to come to the show ready to have a good time. And we give, we give it, like we give it up. We try to. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially in Columbus, oh, killing. Killing. One of our best shows. For us. For us. Yeah. <laughs> killing. I'm talking about the jokes were on point, everything. It was just bomb, 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 bomb. Um, and you know, I like crowds that want to pay attention to what we're saying, but I think sometimes you forget that you're still at a show Mm -hmm. and you can have fun. It's okay to be loose. Well, you know what? I think it's different though, because when, especially at comedy clubs, a lot of the times they don't want you to be too loose because they'll put you out. So I think that's what the, uh, disconnect is sometimes in some of those places Mm -hmm. because they have a lot of rules, but our show is. I think we do have to let people know our show is an active show. It's a fun show. We like y'all to participate or just engage or whatever. Like, it's a fun show. We have a good time. Yeah. But Hartford, uh uh-uh. Nah, I can't even, I can't listen. <laughs> nah, B. But we love y'all because y'all bought tickets. No, we, listen, we love everyone that came out. Yes. But next time you come out to a show, I need you to come out to a show and not come out to just watch us talk. And that's it. I think, but it's a podcast, baby. I don't think people expect it to be what we do. Listen, I didn't expect you to be the way you are. But once you showed me the way you are, I immediately said, oh, I'm in it. What does that mean? 
That means that if you come to the show not expecting it to be the way it is, once you see how it is. No, no. I'm Okay. Fuck all that. What do you mean me? What do you mean me? Not like, because when I first met you, I thought that you were like this tomboy, you know, earthy sort of. I don't know where the earthy part came from. Because you had a fro. Um, and that's the that's what's fucked up. That was the that that's was why the, we can't wear our natural hair out that mm. much because y'all always want to think we like herbs and shit. We don't all like herbs and shit. I thought you like herbs. And I've been basketball. fucking with ashwagandha though. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> but I mean, why? Like I ain't really like that. Nah, but I thought that's who you was, and I was like, oh, and she ain't sucking no dick, nothing like that. And boy, so why first did you, time you swallowed, so I was why, like, oh, all right, whoa, 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 time out. Um, so why did you engage if you didn't think I was sucking dick? You know, I thought it was that time in life where, well, I didn't, it's not that where I Where you think, had to give up sucking dick. No, no, I, it's not that it's I It's time for me to settle down and just well, have regular the, missionary I sex. I told you the relationship before you, I wasn't having my dick sucked. So, so you I was, was used like, to it. Yeah, it was like. And boy, it, mouth got on there. You was like, what is what this? Fuck? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Shit, as a matter of fact, I, I don't know if the head was as amazing as I say it was because I hadn't had none in so long. All right, let's. I think we're talking about two different things here. Are we talking about two different people, or situations, or relationships? Are we talking about me, or are we we just talking about like? No, I was talking about you. So, I, okay, all right. Like, I think that I don't know if I'm the right person to to gauge your head given abilities because the last head that I received that wasn't you. Okay, the last head that I received that wasn't you that wasn't. In a relate, okay, this is weird to say. Okay, the last person I was in a relationship with didn't give me head, and then I got with you, and you gave me head. So, do you want me to go test it out? You want me to do a test drive just to ask to bring my self esteem up? Because right now it's shattered. And you say you're not the one to no. figure it out. And I think at some point I need to know how I'm doing. I mean, I'm here. No, I don't think you know. That so, I got to go. No, I'm here. I, I appreciate I gotta go, it. I got to go scout. No, I go scout if you want. Well, I, I think that at this point, you should be worried about my self-esteem and stop worrying about fidelity. <laughs> is that, is it, do you just take the N off and that's, it mean when you, when you're not cheating? What, f- is it in, fidelity? It's for, because infidelity is cheating. cheating. So, so if fidelity. you just take the N off, is it fidelity? Is that right? I know fidelity is a bank. That's all I know. D, can you tell me what the definition of fidelity is? Just look it up and tell me. I, I can say it. What's fidelity? Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I'm going to find out. Go ahead. Say something and I'm going to look up fidelity. <laughs> I was going to go to uh, uh, confession of the week, but I want to know you about say fidelity. Your, you say your uh, confession of the week first. Um, My confession of the week is after having sex with you last night, I realized something. Wait, okay, so fidelity. Oh, we still ain't got no Wi Fi. No, you got to use your regular phone. I, I don't like that. Phone Fi. Fidelity. Fidelity means an investor. <laughs> you see? I told you. No, 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 no. I, no, I got to mean something else. Oh, faithfulness to a person caused a belief d- demonstrated by continuing loyalty and support. So there you go. Okay. It was right. So, yeah, it was right. You were right. So why is it a why is it a bank? You being faithful to you your being faithful finances? to your fine. Mm. Oh, that's a word. Mm. That's a word. That's mm. some guy. That's a come on. There come go. on. Hey, hey. There it go. Faithfulness. All right. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Come on, somebody. Oh man. Um, confession of the week. After having sex with you last night, I realized that I've never had sex and didn't want to. So is that saying that you didn't want to have sex or you could tell I didn't want to have sex? I could tell you didn't want to have sex. Well, you could have told that when I told you I didn't want to have sex. Yeah, but then you said, let's have sex, sort of. So I was like, I bet. No, you kept asking me. You kept saying, "Let me, I, I want to put, put it in. I, let me put it in. And I kept saying... No, I was trying to say it's sexy, so it will still seduce you. You just come anyway because my voice is seductive. But you didn't like that. You kept asking. I kept saying no. And I was like, all right, come on. 
Listen, and I man. literally took my drawers off, threw them to the side, and laid on my back. I didn't even hug you when you was fucking me. You didn't feel that? Mm-mm. Damn, you was just so in. It was so comfortable. Nah, I was tipsy. And, you know. That I also knew. Yeah. But I didn't even. But it didn't feel like a. Because I know somebody's going to take it wrong. Like, oh, my God. Like, it, it it sounds a little rapey. No, no. She said yes. No, I said yes. But I was also. <laughs> you couldn't. The lights was off. So you couldn't see me. But I was rolling the fuck out of my eyes. I was looking up like. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm looking at everything else. Like. Mm, but I didn't say nothing. I was just there. Well, you, you was doing your wifely duties. Yeah, I was doing that or whatever they call it. But I was definitely rolling my eyes. Consciously I, rolling my eyes. And I realized I, I almost put the phone light on my face so you could see me rolling my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, because Look I, at him. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it. Nah, but that's what I realized. Like this morning I woke up and I was like, I guess we had sex. <sighs> I could have, I could have went without that one. Well, I told you to go without and you didn't want to listen to me. Yeah, I mean, you, but you can't see. That's what makes it sound bad. I said, hey, I don't want to do this. Let me just try. All right, man, come on. Yeah. If I'd have said, all right, man, you probably would have really, like, fucked up. Probably. Yeah, if I'd have been like, all right, man, come on. You'd be like, all right, limp. <laughs> Dicky limp. What? So, wait, so you said yes, but you was expecting me not to? Yeah, I said yes, and I thought you was going to be like, nah, nah, don't worry about it. I tried to make it as uneventful as possible so you could be like, this isn't fun. I don't want to What do, do you do to make sex uneventful? I didn't even embrace you. I just laid there and a couple of times I'd go. <sighs> See, I thought you were moaning when you did that. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I got to switch that, up my technique. I thought that was a moan. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, come on, hurry up. No, I thought it was a moan, real talk. I wanted to go to bed. Oh, I wanted to go to bed, but I was like, no, he won. It's so good. Who am I to keep it from him? You could have kept that. You could have kept that. Well, I tried to, but yeah. it's fine. Don't worry so, about yeah. it. So yeah, I mean, so yeah, I, I, I've never, I've never had sex. Like nobody's ever come to me and was like, I want to have sex, Jay. And I was like, okay, but I really didn't want to. All right, well, yeah. Confession of the week: I was rolling my eyes in bed last night. But I told you that, so that's not a yeah. That's my confession. That can't be your confession. Why? You didn't know I was rolling my eyes, so I told you. You're right. I'm confessing that right. I was rolling the fuck out of my eyes. You're right. Like, yeah. I I don't know. I, I won't do that again. Okay, cool. I mean, you can, you know, whatever. I think it's that horny brain again. When you're horny and you don't realize that you don't really want it, but you but you horny. So it's like, I'm going to just do it. Not and then when you're done, you're like, man, I didn't really want that. But not, you know what? It was it was the gin. It was the gin was talking. The gym was talking to me hard. Like, yeah, I don't fuck with gym. Because like I was I was horny, but I wasn't like emotionally horny. Does no, that make sense? No. No, like my emotions are never part of that. Like, my, be horny. like I was hard, but my heart it wasn't, wasn't hard. hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? No. No? All right, whatever. No. Whatever. <laughs> But yeah, man, I I I I feel like I should apologize. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Like I would, if I would have been like, like I could have just been like no and rolled over. But it yeah, got to like the point you, you've I was said like, no right. before, and I was like, all right, fuck it. I was like, all right, come on, get in this pussy. <laughs> <laughs> get on, come on inside. <laughs> yeah. That's mine. It wasn't nothing crazy though. Oh man. Um, question of the day. What's the first thing you do to show a new partner you're a freak? I wish I could read these better because they're so small. But people are saying are some wild too. shit. Cause I was getting notifications about the stuff they were saying. I was like, that's some wild shit. Um, what's something to show your partner that you're freaky? Mm -hmm. A new partner that you're freaky. Uh, put his balls in my mouth. Cool. Um, backwards or forwards? That's the only thing. What? What? When you do it, is your nose backwards or forwards? You've never done that when we were new partners. No, I I didn't write that. That they wrote that. 
No, I just, no, no, no. I was asking What's them a question. What's your answer? I don't have. I don't have nothing. I just be like, I'm freaky. So it's not swallowing. No, I only do that for special. You know. I don't know. I don't swallow. I don't Listen, just be swallowing. When a girl swallows, I never. <laughs> I've. <laughs> I've never had a girl swallow and said, oh, she did that just for me. Never. It's always, nah, she's done this before. Really? She's had that burp before. Well, when do you think, you said. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's some wild, (laughs) that's some wild shit. Also, why you got so much acid in your cum that her stomach upset? <laughs> That's nasty. I drink orange juice in the morning. No, Damn. you don't. I you do. don't. No, you don't. I do, man. That's wild. Like you got to get that checked juice. out. And, you know, coffee got acid in it, too. You oh, know. my God. Okay. Um, what's the first thing you do to show? Wait, no. What about you? What's the first thing you do to show? Wait, so what was yours? I don't have an answer. You don't have no answer. You so you're trying to tell me that you've never hinted to around like, yo, I'm a freak. Cause you, let's make it known you are what, a freak. So what did I do for you? You swallowed. Oh, that's that what was it. you. I wasn't talking about nobody. That was you. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't know I did that. Um, I did. It was such, just such muscle God memory. Um, you see <laughs> what? What? So you did do it? No, before that's me. not what I was saying. You said it's muscle memory. What the fuck that mean? I mean, at some point, I'm sure some got on my chin or something. And I was like, Bleh, and I put my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure at some point I didn't have a napkin. You know what I mean? You always just have a napkin <sighs> or a towel. What are you talking about? <sighs> Um, I don't know. What do I do? I just, you know, um, yeah. That's your that's your move. Maybe swallow. Maybe. Yeah, that's your thing. It's like, uh, guess who you got with? What do you do? <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner, what motherfucker. You, yo, get off the neighborhood app. <laughs> get off the neighborhood no, I app. I got that from Giannis. <laughs> I got that from Giannis. Man. What um? What about you? Mm. What's the first thing you do? To show a new partner that you're a freak. Uh, first thing I do to show a partner that I'm a freak. Okay. So I usually go into situations before I have sex with a person. They know that, yeah, that nigga's a freak. But I remember one time I had just met this chick, which makes this nasty. <laughs> I had just, cannot wait. <laughs> I had just met this this young lady and... um. We uh we had met at the club and I brought her back to the house. Um and I <laughs> I, I took a I took a lollipop and I put it in the pussy and I ate it. Like I want I I, I made sure that it was wet off of her. Yo, tongue. you love fucking people's pH balance up, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's your favorite thing in the world. I need to figure out how am I gonna fuck this bitch pH balance up? How am I gonna do it? It was like what, what's that candy, the dipstick? You know what I mean? Like that's what I was doing with a pussy. Just dip. What an dip. introduction. Also, you just met this young woman? I just met her. <laughs> what an introduction. <laughs> What what a way to say hello. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? What a way. Was it a blow pop? Did you chew it afterwards? No, it you nasty. Dumb. You nasty as it fuck. It was a dumb dumb, man. Oh, okay. She wasn't ready for a blow pop, huh? Nah, that man. was too crazy, yeah. huh? <laughs> too big for her, huh? That was not even about you. You always want to make everything you about say, you. You, you. You always it's take that shit too far. You. you always take shit too far. Not- too fucking far. I don't never say nothing. Your face just always look crazy. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that <laughs> fucking hate you, yo. <laughs> also, uh, where the fuck you get that dumb dumb from? Your child? Yes, actually, yes. Oh, that's fucked that up. I'm gonna tell Chris. Him. I'm gonna tell Chris too. <laughs> he was because he was only like about three years old at the time. Oh, I'm gonna tell him. Yeah, and I'm when he get old enough. It was it was a blue one too, the little raspberry. Oh, one. so you left a pussy blue. She left with a blue pussy. I mean, I licked it up. She got after. fucked by a smirk. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. They probably be fucking though. Hey, you listen. ever seen their noses? Crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's, the first thing, what's the first thing you do to show a new partner 
You're a freak. Um, what is it? I can't. I can't even read. Uh, some I'm of going those. to lay down in. I'm going to lay down in between his legs to suck his dick. Very professional. Wait, hold on. No, first of all, let me read it. Don't don't read it like that. <laughs> <laughs> they said very personal and freaky. Okay, hold on one second. Let me see if I can lean down and read this. Oh shit. wait, I think I know how I can make this bigger. Um, because we had this problem last week. Mm -hmm. Uh, this shit is little as fuck. Wait, mm -mm. no, that makes it brighter. Mm -mm. That makes it brighter. Uh. Mm. -mm. Mm -mm. No, baby, I don't know if we want to hear you work through this. I'm, I'm back. Go ahead. Well, read. I can't. It's too you small. You can't see nothing. <laughs> no, it's too small. Okay. Um, put his balls in my mouth. I already read that. You said that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if we talk in bedroom, pick pick her up on the shoulder. Pick her up on my shoulder or standing sixty nine. I'm not going to lie. I don't have the strength for standing sixty nine. I feel like you did that once or you tried it. Were you about to drop me? You don't remember if it was me. Don't worry about it. Um, let me see. <laughs> oh, here's one. Um, what's something that you do to show your new partner that you're a freak? Suck that dick while he's driving just to show see if he can handle it. See if he can handle me. Um, I'm not doing that with a new person. First of all, I don't know how well you drive. I'm not about to suck your dick while you're also driving me in the car and <laughs> We don't have that type of relationship yet. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm watch how you drive first before I do that. Yeah, man. Because if they crash and y'all go to heaven and the Lord look at you, you got to say, my mouth was full. Somebody said, show them my fun tote. I have a What's tote a with different sex toys in it. First of all, if you need a tote to hold all your sex toys, you got that. That's a playground in there. That shit's crazy. You got a tote. Do we have a tote? I think we have enough for a tote. We just got to get a tote. We got to get a tote. Okay. We got to get a tote. Get a tote. We got a tote. Um, I'll pull out the toys and BDSM equipment. Okay. There's okay. Also that. That, that'll that show a person quickly. Okay. Um, This one was fucking wild. What's the question? Oh, what? <laughs> what is uh something that you do to show a new partner that you're a freak? Immediately peg them without warning. But... <laughs> What the f she, she said she was playing. I believe her. <laughs> she wasn't playing. She was not playing. My husband is now my husband because of the good old grapefruit method. I never did that. I've never had that done to me. I don't get it. What it, it is you put the grapefruit on the dick? Yeah, you put poke you cut it and then you put a hole in it and then you suck the dick while you stroking it with the grapefruit. But I like grapefruit. It's gonna ruin a good ass grapefruit. I ain't never seen you buy grapefruit. I think with you, we have to check and see what medicines you take because some medicines you can't take with grapefruit. Fuck you. No, for real. No, it's literally, you. it's like <clears throat> you you can't have grapefruit if you're taking this. And it's probably like blood pressure medicine or something like it's that. Not <laughs> I think you at the age where we got to check your medicines before we get freaky. <laughs> we got to see, we got to see what you're taking. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This one says I can't have a lot of vitamin C. So <laughs> oh. <laughs> put that orange away, ma'am. Oh my God. Uh, what is something you do to show your new partner that you are a freak? Slowly sucking on grapes on the vine with my head tilted back. That'll turn a motherfucker on. Facts. Like, you ain't, you ain't, you know what? <clears throat> now that I think about it, you've never tried to seduce me. I just get in the bed naked every night. That's not seduction. It's titties. <laughs> you don't like dick. But that's not seduction, man. Well, what does that mean? Like, like I think that if I tried to seduce you, you would laugh. I wouldn't laugh if it was like good. I just think you would laugh. No, be good at it. All right, well, I'm gonna laugh. And there goes the problem. Why? I don't want to fucking laugh. I want to get hard. But you get hard by yourself. You don't need me for that. But it would be nice <laughs> if you <laughs> it'd be nice if you participated in the getting hard. What you want me to do? I don't try that. Eat, eat. We don't have no grapes. <laughs> eat a strawberry or something. We man. don't have those. We don't have no fruit. We got a banana. I don't need no potassium. I took my vitamins today. You know what? You're a fucking just. Why? <laughs> Think of something else. What else? Oh my gosh. We got uh, a waffle, frozen waffle in there. 
Waffles, waffles, waffles. No, that, that ain't going to be All freaking right. you out. You because I sang the song? I should have done that. That, is, that was a real That's song? That's probably the song, yeah. The song. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, what do you do to show a new partner that you are a freak? Deep throw a fudge bomb. But why that specifically? Because it's chocolate. Chocolate. <clears throat> okay. Because it's a chocolate dick. Ba- baby, I know. Oh, I know oh, what, I, a, I what a dick is. Yeah, no, it was, but it was a chocolate. Don't dick, talk to me so like that. My bad. All right. My bad. Um, what does it say? I don't know what you're trying I to see. Read. Lick that taint. And you know, I don't. I feel like you have to build your relationship up to that. I don't think that's a that's a. You don't go directly for the taint. Yeah, yeah. What if nah. you get some shit juice on your chin while you're down there? You got to make sure that this is the person you would have spent your life with. That this is a clean person that you want to just take throughout your life. Yeah, new taint ain't 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 nah nah, nah, nah. not no brand new, not Unless, no not no fresh from the club taint. Now, especially if you've been drinking, you know a little bit of shit done slipped through there. <laughs> Your bowels get loose when you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you got to watch yourself. What are you doing? No, now I will say this. I have had a new partner and we got a hotel room. We took a shower together and um, I you took a up, shower with somebody brand new. Yeah. We had took a shower together um, and I ended up eating the ass, licking it. Everything. I licked everything that night. This was somebody brand new? Yeah. But we took a shower. Explain your life to me before me. So what like you mean? what what did what what happened? Where did you meet this person? The club. And you already had a hotel or you bought a hotel room? No, like this was like our second it's like our second and third time meeting. Okay. So you had a hotel room or you Yeah, I got one? a hotel room. Oh, okay. Or no, she got the hotel room, but that doesn't matter. Mm, it does. That's, it doesn't a, matter. That's, a, that's a big part of that story. You left that out. No, but whatever. We was in a hotel room together, and we took a shower, and after that, like, it was on. First of all, don't look at your lips and look at me when you're talking about another bitch. Don't do that. That's weird. <laughs> don't do that to me. Okay, well. Wow, I'm just such a saint. Um, What is something that Fuck it. Say the question. I'm going to read and then I'll come back with the answer because I got <laughs> to bend down to read it. Say the what question. Is, what is something that... Wait, I forgot the question. Oh, what's something that you do to show a new partner that you're a freak? Somebody said, I pee on his favorite sweatshirt. To mark their territory? Are you fucking a chihuahua? Like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? What? Maybe she means like she's squirting or something. No. Uh, what? Oh, this sounds like some some sl- slick shit you tried to get away with. Somebody said, show her my locks and see what she can do with them. You see, so I read that one. And the only thing I saw was, you going to get my hair dirty. That's the only thing that went through my but mind. But you don't be caring because we be fucking and sometimes your locks fall down in my pussy. Well, you my wife, so it's fine to have your pussy juice on my locks. All right. Well, no one's going to sit next to you now. <laughs> 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 that is nasty. <laughs> uh, what is something that you do uh, with a new partner to show them that you're a freak? Somebody said, eat her out as soon as she get off work. Why? What's wrong with y'all? Yo, because that... And what kind of job is it? Is she sitting down all day? Is she running? It don't fucking matter. That lived-in pussy? Oh, my gosh. But it you don't know amazing. where she live. You just met her. And I don't give a fuck. Like, that, that it's been simmering. It's but like, you don't it's know like how stew. long it's been simmering. I don't care. It's a stew. No, like, did she shower before work that day? I would hope. But, but you I'm about to know, find uh, out. Yeah, man. You willing to find out? Listen, what you, happens if you find yeah. out? Like you about to find out, and then you get there, and it's not fun in there. Then you just gotta leave. But being do you? Uh, uh-uh, uh. Nope, nope, nope. Do you leave in the middle of that, or do you leave? Like, do you leave? Like, you get down there, and it's like, do you immediately, immediately gone. just go? Ah, no. Immediately gone. My head just started hurting. 
I got a migraine. Oh my god. That. We talked about that. Yeah. We talked about that. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. I'm done. I appreciate it. Um, that. but like being single, like the way I see it, when I was single, it was life was like a safari. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say a box of chocolates. No. I was about to leave. No. <laughs> I'm like, no, oh no. my god. <laughs> no, life was like a safari, and you going in, in this jungle. And things are just going to pop out at you. And some things are going to be beautiful and great. And other things are going to be dangerous. You think that's what a safari is? I think safaris are planned. I don't think they pop out. I think they, they know They do pop they, out like a lion. Just I, know, I, think, I think they that's know where they're they going. I think it's planned out. And they say, we're going to hit this. It's going to be a lion here. We, we gonna hit this. But gonna sometimes shit like. happens that you ain't expecting. Mm, okay. That's danger. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. that's, that's nice. I'm glad you like danger. Well, I like danger at one point and I got burnt. So I don't like danger no more. <laughs> no, I don't like danger no more. Read the question, man. No, you read the question. Um, No, I, you read the question. No. You can't even read. Mm-hmm. What's something that you do to let your partner know, let your new partner know that you are a freak? Somebody says spit on it. Mm. I'm telling you, it's something about somebody going... <sighs> You know I me. Mean? <laughs> that shit is a turn on. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we wish, gonna put that. I at? wish y'all could have heard my brother finish the spit at the end. <laughs> he did the t- at the end, and I don't like how that was a unison. <laughs> also, that just makes me think of uh, cold and flu season. Honestly, no. that doesn't turn me on at all. I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry, baby. Do you need some Benadryl? Oh my gosh, no. Or oh, speaking of cold and flu, no, you not. They no, your no, dick no, 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 no. Like no. the the snot come out their nose and shit because it's oh oh my gosh no no explain it what is she's it? What an you... angel she's an angel if the snot is the coming snot out and of... the tears because they because they're crying you somebody know what I'm talking about somebody know what I'm talking about. You fucked a bitch with the flu before? <laughs> <laughs> you fucked a, 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 a flu throw? <laughs> flu, flu game. That's not you like know what a, I mean? no, that's it's not the like, flu game. No, that's fucking. Du- <laughs> you snot is a turn on to you. It is when that you doesn't make dick. you think about your children and the fact when they be snotty. Like no. grown people wipe their nose. You want to see a girl like. Like he said, she didn't come in like that. <laughs> you gave her a cold with your dick. No, <laughs> your nasty dick, <laughs> your flu dick, fluey dick. <laughs> That's nasty. God, you guys are gross. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Um, let's do a couple more. What's something that you do with a new partner to show them that you are a freak? Um, first date anal. First of all, that sounds like the title of the romance novel. <laughs> <laughs> First date anal? That's wild. That's, oh. <laughs> but it wasn't a date. Hey, no. Nah. It wasn't a date. Wait. We so, had met each other in the club. And she said, no, nah, the ass open. And I went back to the home. Ass open after 12. What? No, no. Tell me the story. I wasn't there. I went, Okay. In the club, I'm hosting the joint, and my homegirl comes in, and she brings her friend. So the friend giving me crazy vibes, and I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little tipsy. So I'm like, um, I'm, I'm like about 45 minutes or an hour away from the house. So I'm like, yo, can I stay at your crib tonight? And uh, I'm talking to my friend, and my friend's like, yo, um, I'm staying at her house tonight. Um, so if she's cool with it, you can stay over there, you know, and sober up. I'm like, I bet. So the girl, the girl says it's okay, I can come over. And like only thing I remember is going in there and fucking. And somewhere between the fucking and the morning, my dick went in her ass. It was some, it was like five o'clock or something. It was like the sun was coming up and I was going in. Oh, did you have a good time? Oh hell yeah, that was top tier. Well, I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. I'm I'm happy if you happy. Yeah, I, that. listen that that was that was man, man. You better reminisce. Come on. No, I'm not reminiscing. What? What else? What else was it? You love her. And was that was a. <laughs> <laughs> No, man. Like, it, listen. It was. It was wild. It was wild. Mm. It was wild. 
Uh, we Can you stop? More? What is wrong with you? No, I'm looking for more. Man. No, it's a lot in here, but I can't even. I can't read none of oh, this. Oh, this is a good one. I know they're good, this but I good can't one. read them. Uh, answer the door naked. You ever done that? No, I've had kids for a long time. <laughs> 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 I can't just be in the house naked, like butt ass naked. Yeah, no, no, I haven't, I haven't done that. No. Really? No, we can try it tonight after everybody leaves, though, since the kids ain't here. You're going to get naked anyway. That's what you do to go to sleep. It's not fun. I want to walk in the house. My body's boring to you? No, your body's amazing to me. It's a wonderland. Um, Don't do that. (laughs) Don't do that. Don't do that. But no, I want to, like, walk in. Even, you know it would be great? Even if we're at a hotel and I, like, leave out the room to go do something and I come back and you, like, bucky naked. But I don't know if you coming in with somebody. That's the thing. You know, what at I a mean? hotel, who am I coming in with? I don't know. Maybe the DJ, the host. No, no. Okay, concierge. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No, I think that'd be super dope, though. Mm. Okay. I feel like I've done that to you before. Yeah, but you do all the time. It's not fun anymore. <laughs> like you're supposed to be special when you're naked, but sometimes you just be naked. Your dick just be out, and I'd be like, "All right," and I push you to the side because I'm. It doesn't do anything. No, like it's it not do like anything. no, it's not like uh cool. no, it's not like uh oh, that's new. I ain't never seen that. Mm-hmm. You naked so many times, it's just like you walk. You just it's like air. It's regular shit. You don't never surprise me with naked. You, you be naked, and I just be like, oh, okay, because you always naked. Yeah, but. You're supposed to still see it like the first time. What? Stop being naked. So Save some naked. You, you always naked. naked. <laughs> Your dick always out. Out of nowhere. You just be like, you want to see my dick? And you just pull it out. Your dick just be out. It don't. It's like, oh, here's your dick. You're right. You're right. Yeah, you got to save some dick for uh, suspense. This is the final one, uh, and this is the best one. Uh, what do you do to show a new partner that you are a freak? Fill up their gas tank. Mm. Oh. Man. Oh. I just nutted. Oh my God. This couch just got so <laughs> it's crazy. Fill it up. Oh my God. I was um I was on Facebook today and um somebody I know uh has a company where they have trucks or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he said they just got a new truck and somebody put regular gas in their diesel truck and it blew. Wait, what? Somebody like they just got a brand new truck that took diesel and somebody put regular gas in it and it like blew up. Oh wow. Yeah. See, I I <laughs> I almost put diesel gas in um in in my car one time, but then I the nozzle is a little bit bigger on the diesel mm-hmm. gas, so you can't fit it in there. And shit. Yeah. And I was like, man, somebody was smart when it was developing this shit. Cause yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's not the other way around, so that sucks. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, y'all, we're on tour. As y'all know, we are on tour. Um, by the time y'all listen to this, it's going to be Thursday, September 21st, if you listen to it on time. Um, we're going to be at Baltimore Comedy Factory tonight. Um, there are, as of right now, there are tickets that are still available. VIP is sold out, but there are regular tickets available. It's the same show. you still going to get the same show. It's, it's a, it's a fun-ass time. Uh, make sure you get your tickets. Um, all these shows are on sale right now. Make sure you get your tickets for all these shows uh, sooner than later, I would say, because when they're gone, they're gone. We can't release tickets. We get uh, DMs all the time about people like, yo, can you release tickets? Like, whatever. Um, October 8th, Minnesota. We're going to be at the House of Comedy in the Mall of America on October 8th. Uh, and then in between that, we're going to Vegas <clears throat> because we're going to see Usher. Um, October 26th, we're going to be in Denver, Colorado at the Improv once again. October 29th, we're going to be in Buffalo, New York at the Helium. November 5th, we're going to be in Indianapolis, Indiana at the Helium once again. November 12th, Pittsburgh, the last city winery that we're doing this year. We've never been to this one. We're super excited to go out to this one to get your tickets. November 19th, we're going to be in Phoenix, Arizona at Stand Up Live again. We had such a good time in Phoenix last year. So hope y'all come out. December 3rd, this is a new date. We had Raleigh in October. Um, No, no, that's not a new date. I'm sorry. No, no, December 3rd, yeah. this is Raleigh. Um, we're going to be in Good Nights. December 7th is the new date. We had Richmond supposed to be in October. We um, Now it's changed um, due to no fault of our own. 
Um, but December 7th, Richmond Funny Bone uh, is now December 7th. I don't, as of right now, I don't think that the tickets are up, but periodically check. So, um, you know, you can get your tickets for that. But December 7th is now Richmond at the Funny Bone. It's working, but we're going to try it real quick. Mm. Just to see what, oh. Is it up? It's up. It is up. It's wow. up. There we go. Burr, 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 burr. All right. That's crazy. Um, let's start with sexy red. Go ahead. So she got she got a new lip gloss coming out, man. And I just wanted to go over some of the names and see if you would be down with purchasing any of these. Um, <clears throat> she says she got all different flavors. Uh, and I remember back in the day when girls used to have like the strawberry joints and the pineapple and all of that. Um, well, these are some of the new flavors for 2023-24. Um, Coochie Juice. Booty Hole Brown. Hmm. I bet that one's brown. Uh, Coochie Pink. Cute, cute. Uh, Sex on My Period. I bet that's red. Now, this one, I was trying to figure out the color. Gonorrhea. Is that green? Iridescent, probably. <laughs> Yellow discharge. And I think this is the iridescent one. Nut. So, <clears throat> here's the thing. There's somebody that already did that. Really? I saw it. Um, I feel like we've talked about it, to be honest with you. I don't remember that. I think we've talked about it. It was a while. It's been a while since we talked about it, but somebody had like a cum color or flavor or some shit like that, like a lip gloss or lipstick line mm -hmm. um, before. I think we've talked about it. But I mean, you sexy red, so you're going to probably sell way more, but it's been done. That's what's crazy. I never. Well, booty hole brown ain't never. Been I mean, done. it's never gonna be done. Like she yeah, can do it. Yeah, you know what I mean? On, I mean, get your on. money. Get your money. If there's no issue and nobody has a problem with it, you know, get your money. Would you purchase something like that? I probably wouldn't have booty hole brown. I just feel like it's shit. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. This is what I thought about, <clears throat> and I was like, I'm a parent now because these things go through my mind. Our daughter wears lip gloss. And no, she's not seen, buying. She's not buying. If I seen pink. a sexy red lip gloss. I would snap. Nah, she not buying no coochie pink. She ain't doing it. I don't think she would do it though. She listen to more Anita Baker than she do sexy red. <laughs> <laughs> Anita Baker come out with a lip uh, gloss apologize. line. Yo, watch out. <laughs> watch out. Apology pink. Yeah. She come out with a, it's probably going to be like a dark uh, lip liner and some clear gloss. Yeah, like some, yeah. some old. A burgundy, yeah. burgundy lip. Bur oh, it's yeah. definitely burgundy. Yeah. It's absolutely burgundy. <laughs> yes. Oh, um, I think you put this in the notes, man. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. You sure? Yeah, I don't I don't think we I did that. Oh, I might have done this. Mm, look at you. I don't want to talk about this. All though. right. Yeah, All I right. didn't I didn't put that in there. All Not right. Me. Um, what else we got? Internet's running slow still though. Uh NFL player yeah. Xavier Howard allegedly has four women pregnant at the same damn time. I put that in there. Hey, if they all okay with it. I you know what? I don't know if Nick Cannon started to trend. Yeah, but he didn't have them like four at the same time, though. I think he had a couple at the same time, like two maybe. So what? He think big? What you mean? <laughs> what he trying to catch up? I, hey, if they have, they don't have a problem with it. Hey, more power to is that yourself. dirty dick? Like right there? No. What are you talking about? People that have sex with mad people. What do you mean? Okay, they just pregnant. That's the only difference. <laughs> I'm saying that's the only difference. They're not just fucking to fuck. Like, he could also fuck four women the same night. They're just pregnant. It's just different. Okay. If they cool with it, then all right. I, I, I had something like that happen. You had four women pregnant at the same time? No, 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 no not four. Not four. You had, uh, no, no, elaborate. Because what the fuck are you talking about? So. Mm. <laughs> wow. So um, your life is so colorful. No, so right when I found out my son was going to be born, um, me I was kicking it with some other women, and I love when you say kicking it. What you mean? Because you was fucking them, but you don't want to say fucking. You nah. want to make it seem like you on Fresh Prince. 
<laughs> we was kicking it. Nah, man. Like we was, you know, we were cool. We were, we were having, you know, fun relations. Um. Anyway, um, about three or four weeks after I found out my son was uh in this world, so to speak, mm -hmm. um, another girl hit me up and she was like, "I'm pregnant." Whoa. And I was like, "Oh shit!" And she said I wasn't the father. But when I was doing the math, I was like, the math don't math right. And literally, I had to wait until the baby was born for me to be okay with the fact that that wasn't my child. What does that feel like? What kind of stress is that? Um, Especially when you find out you're stressing for no reason. What kind? Of, what does that feel like? <laughs> like what, how does that take over your life? Yo. What does that look like? You know the wild part? I won't even stress, man. I won't even stress. He's ready to be a dad, huh? No, nah, I wasn't, but I was like, fuck it. Like, the pussy was good. That's she, what you were thinking about fatherhood. Good, she got a good job. That's like, like, that's what fatherhood does. Nah, so. I'm just saying, like, it it, just, it didn't bother me because, like, I didn't, I didn't deal with anybody like that. I didn't deal with anyone that I would be afraid of having a child with, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? So when she said that she might have been pregnant, I was like, okay, well, you know, you a good chick. Like, whatever we can do, we do. Wow. Look how look how your mind changes when you're young. What you mean? And you stupid. And it's like, <laughs> nah, you cool. I, I think we could work this out. And you like not thinking about the fact that you're bringing a child into this world with somebody. Yeah, listen, like, you don't you don't think about the other person when uh when when you're young, man. You just think about Yep, there go baby. That's crazy. Yeah. That's almost scary though, because you're around if you're around people that are having kids and it's so second nature to just have the children mm -hmm. and not actually think about the fact that those are children. Yeah. It's about them and it's not about y'all, but you so in your head it's just like, nah, I mean, I'm gonna do what I can to be a good dad. And it's like, what is a good dad? No, nah, that's fine. What is a good parent? Do you that's even facts. know what that is? Or are you but just like, think, nah, I having kids parent, is like though, it's a thing. You just do it. But that's not fair, because even when you uh when you're married and all that and you have a child, like, you don't know what a good parent is. Like you only have ideas of what a good parent could I be. I mean, no, it's but it's different, like, especially the way that you said it. It just is more like it's about y'all and not the kid. It's more about no, nah, she good, she cool. I mean, this will you know I can't. Well, have no, a I, she's so to me. It was like I know I'm a good person. I know she's a good person. You know, what I mean, she's stable. I'm well at that time. I, Man, was, I had not, a job. Not stable. <laughs> I had a job. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, I had a, I had a pretty good decent job. Um, but yeah, so I was like, we can make this work, man. We 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 can make something happen. Mm. Okay. You know I mean, um, man says as long as he's not publicly embarrassing you, having a baby on you, nor bringing home a disease, why care if he is cheating? I just I don't know why I put that in there. I don't know why either. As soon as I put it in, like I realized that our podcast is more for people that are older and have actually experienced things. Because when I read shit like that, it just sounds like. <laughs> this petty dumb young shit that we see all the fucking time like this it sounds like some blue face and Krishan shit like that I'm, I'm so sick <clears> of seeing <throat> shit like that all over the place like I don't know why I put that in there I, it was like I was like oh relationship topic and I put it in there and I was like I don't care about this because I don't think anybody that's listening cares about this hmm. I don't think that's our audience I or maybe know. it is I don't know some of the people on Instagram they be they be I'd be learning some new shit. <laughs> um, why care if he is cheating? Well, I will say this. This was my mindset for a long time. For a long time. I was like, I don't get it. I'm being a great dude to you when I'm with you. What's the problem? I think you said that to me. Not to me, but you told me that. Possibly. That that was your mindset. Yeah. Hell yeah. It was like, because I'm like, and not saying that I believe this, but my reasons for not cheating, my reasons for being what you would call a good dude has nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. It's a choice that I made 
because mm-hmm. it feels better to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I can't knock anybody who is out here cheating if they're taking care of their business as well. That's a wild thing for you I to can't, get serious I about. Knock, like it made sense. No, nah, no, nah, I can't knock nobody. <laughs> you said it like I was supposed to be like, yeah, yeah, you true, true. No, no, no. That like, sounds fucking crazy. No, I can't. I can't because at the end of the day, I can't judge you for doing. I can't judge you for doing something that I've done before. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that doesn't yeah, make sense. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. All these things are dumb. <laughs> Everything's stupid. <laughs> I don't care anymore about this topic. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. You it's put it up there, man. It's so I'll... funny. This is definitely a you episode this this week. What you mean? You have a lot of stories. I don't have shit. I'm just over here listening. Oh, my gosh. Whatever. I like when we have episodes where I find out new things. I'm like, what the fuck? You didn't find out nothing new today. Yeah, I put this in here. Um, I didn't get a chance to... Uh, I think it came out like right after we released the last episode. Uh-huh. Virginia Virginia House candidates porn side gig believed to be good for a political career. She says, stop shaming sex workers. I guess that's what the platform she's standing on. Oh, so she's 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 a porn star? I guess she had a side gig. She might not be a star. That's a that's a reach. That's a big, that's a big word. She's, yeah, she's a house candidate. So uh, porn cloud. Yeah, okay. and this activity, a hobby of porn. <laughs> porn is your hobby is wild that's wild <laughs> i'm just trying to think about how you have porn as a hobby i'm saying some people bowl some people fuck i didn't know it was an option to be on a hobby. camera i would like to have that as a hobby i mean what no I, I just think it would be fun i think it'd be cool but i don't want it to have porn as a hobby would be cool no like not now i'm a mom that's a key bummer what? 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 No, that's probably porn moms, right? You think so? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's porn moms, yeah. but that why you? So no, I was just saying like that might be cool. If you wasn't a mom, you would be a porn star. Yeah, I would be a star, and I've said that before. Yeah, I would absolutely be a star. Okay, you would do porn. You would you have OnlyFans if you wasn't a mom? No, because I'd be making so much money doing regular porn. I don't need no side bullshit OnlyFans. Oh, see, you ain't not no petty <laughs> shit. <laughs> the fuck? I'm gonna have contracts. <laughs> fuck out of here. Nah, I'm sorry. I love y'all. I love y'all OnlyFans. They keep my husband entertained, apparently. Because, <laughs> um, nah, I, nah, I'm not shaming y'all. I think that shit good. I just think I want better. You want better for you? No, nah, I'm just playing. I think OnlyFans is better money because I think it yeah, just goes straight yeah, to you, right? Better money. It goes straight yeah. to you, like Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> well, shit. Are you trying to convince me to do it? Because I'm not against it. We got we got a set now. What? We got a set. You wouldn't do it. You want me to do it? You dare me to do it? You wouldn't do it. Do you dare me to do it? Because that's fun. Do you dare me? Dare you to do OnlyFans? Do yeah. Hell yeah. You dare me to I do an dare OnlyFans. You, I dare you to do OnlyFans for a week. That's a long time. I don't even have enough time in a week. What you mean? I was we, thinking like a day. We'll get all of the content. We'll get all of the content together. No, it has to be a week. No, it doesn't. Three days. Three days. Three days. Okay. What do you want me to do? 72 hours. What do you want me to do? I want you fucking, sucking, uh, 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 fucking you? Yeah, who the fucking, hell you gonna fuck? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's tricky. It's tricky. You know what I mean? If you have a porn side gig, is it with you know what I mean? It's tricky. But you daring me, I thought it was just my dare. I didn't know you was included in the dare. I didn't know you had anything to do with it. I thought I was just taking it for the team. I thought it was my bet. <laughs> Yo. For real. I thought you were just asking me, like, Yo. would you do this? And I was like, I'm going to show him. <laughs> Fuck this. Why? You don't want to do it? Fuck now you. Now you don't want me to do it. Why? <laughs> Yo. You don't you like so me. fucking disrespectful, You don't man. like money. You are so <laughs> you disrespectful. You don't like money? You don't want to win? I don't <laughs> All right. Well, fuck it. You said it. I was going to do it. I was going to try. Listeners, I was going to try. Oh. No. Um, woman says her ex-boyfriend financed her wedding to her husband, bought her bridesmaids dresses, and gifted her an additional $1,000 on her wedding day. Wait, I got to read that again. Nope, I'll read it for you. Woman says her ex-boyfriend financed her wedding to her husband, bought her bridesmaids dresses, and gifted her an additional $1,000 on her wedding day. Oh, he's still fucking. How would you feel 
as the husband or the fiance. I would feel that like it's our woman. That's our no, woman. No, no, no. If if you are the one getting married to her, how would you feel? That's our woman. So you would just give her up and be like, he can do all of those things. Hell, no. I would give her up, period. I'm saying, but you're already in the wedding and you know that he finances this wedding. Wait, so you saying like the day of the wedding, I find out all of this? Yeah, you didn't know where she was getting the money from. And then the day of the wedding, you're like, and you're like, oh my God, I'm so happy to be here. It's so beautiful. Everybody looks great. <laughs> 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 you so enthralled in the atmosphere of the wedding. And then you end up finding out who paid for the wedding. Like he walk up to you and he's like, man, you take care, man. Oh, he's trying to fight. That nigga trying or he to like, fight. Nah, man, I want this for he both of y'all. He is trying to fight. Nah, I want this for both he of y'all, man. He is trying to fight. I want this for, I took care of this so y'all didn't have to worry about it. I want he's trying to, to fight. Like, he want to fight me right there. Yeah, but this he wedding. He just spit in my face. Hey, but stop, because this wedding is beautiful. He just spit in my face. This wedding, it looks so good in here. Like, the bridesmaids, they, they, the, the food cater, you ain't got to pay for it. The plates. If people didn't show up, it don't matter because you didn't pay Why? for that. Is, is he the black? The venue is beautiful. Is, is he black? I don't know if he black or because not. Because I don't, I don't appreciate another black man wanting a black man in jail because that's what the fuck he wants. But, he wants me to but go to hold fucking on. Take, prison. Take yourself out of it, though. Look at the no, venue. No, you just said. You just no, said take how- yourself out. Look at the venue, though. It's gorgeous in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect day. You got the top-notch dress. Oh, I got an extra $1,000 from her. You pay for the bridesmaids' dresses. All right. This is what I will say. This is being completely honest. You pay for the decorations. I'm going to still fight that nigga, but I'm going to take the pictures first because I'm pretty sure he paid for my tux too and I'm fly. So I'm going to take a couple of pictures, a couple but of But why are you going to fight him? Because this the, he Pretty much what he did. No, it, no. He came no. to her hey, and hey. I put my face in the pussy. Hey. He Hey, can you let's let's find another way to talk about this? Hold, <laughs> hold my hand, hold my hand. Just just think of what if you already are legally married and you had the wedding of your dreams. He bought that for you. He paid for that for you. Fuck him. Well, apparently you did because you say. He <laughs> <laughs> pause, man. Pause. You don't have to. Pause, pause man. Now. Wow. No, not like that's that's just so disrespectful, man. Okay. That's disrespect. Why? Are you trying to tell me something? No, I just... Uh, you know I didn't pay for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I think my mama did. Or parents. Did we pay for some of it? We paid for it. We paid for some of that okay, shit. Okay, so why why are you asking me questions? I'm just making sure, man. Nah, I just... I don't think it's that bad of an idea. Because I saw how much we paid. So let me, so let me get this right. So you would accept that from... A ex? You would accept money from an ex to finance your wedding? Ex is a strong word. No, fuck that. You would accept that? You don't want me to? No, I want you to do what you feel like you should do. I feel like it would be better for my family if we didn't have to put out this amount of money in this small period of time. If somebody else were to do it, that I would have more money to feed my family and take care of my children and get a pay for a vehicle or something like that, put a down payment on a house. But I'm just thinking about us. But if you don't want me to think about us, then no, I wouldn't accept it. Of course not. Why would I do that? Hello? Hello? I just see where you are now. Someone that cares about the well-being of their family. No, fuck that. Why not? No, how? You don't do shit like that. Okay. I just, I'm financially responsible. What else do you want to talk about? Come on. Hello? <laughs> things that have nothing to do with sex uh wayne got a new uh project dropping oh i heard about that i'm excited about it yeah i kind of am too especially after seeing him live like uh what for something in the water i'm excited not even just that wayne been putting on man. recently like, his he, last couple of features yeah. yeah like recently all the performances i've seen he's been on it so yeah so wayne the fix before the six yeah i'm excited about that yeah, I'm, I'm, um excited. elon musk says that all twitter uh slash x users will soon have to pay to be on the platform he says he's doing that to get rid of bots yeah all right well we're not using that yeah not at all what are you talking about not at all 
Not what are you at all. Talking if about? that happens, yeah. They got threads. I don't know who on threads, but I'll get on that shit if I ain't got to pay for it. But you know, the only thing I don't like about threads is that they don't have the um, the the magnifying glass. Mm -hmm. You know where it shows all of the you different trend, trending topics. It, it it doesn't have trending topics. I feel like that was hard to get out. It was. <laughs> yeah, they don't have trending topics on threads. Maybe they're developing. It's new. But I'm not fucking paying to be. No, I mean, sure. I'm not paying for I'm that shit either. That. That's fucking but, dope. No. Um, I feel like this was a good one. Uh, this seems long. No, but I read it. I just got a summer. Oh, yeah. He looked like Zip. <laughs> he did. <laughs> I'll save this for last. All I'll right. save that for last. Okay. Um, You wanted to talk about this. Um, I mean, it's no big deal. If you watch Love is Blind, like I watch Love is Blind. Um, Jackie and Josh broke up. She said she's still sick about low key. I really didn't understand why they broke up. It had something to do with somebody else. But Jackie is also the girl that told Marshall after she saw him that he was soft and like he won't like just whatever, like shitting on him, got engaged and then was like, I can't fucking do this. And then got with the dude, Josh, that was trying to get at her in the beginning. Um, so a lot of people didn't like her. Uh, I mean, if you don't, you if you like what you like, if you don't like it, fine. But she was kind of nasty to him, so I don't really give a fuck about this. Um, but yeah, they the first couple to break up, and they shouldn't have been together in the first place anyway. So I get that. Uh, but, speaking of breakups, Iman Shumpert and Tiana Taylor have called it quits. Yeah, if y'all, uh, I feel like I don't have to read this because everyone's been talking about it's been everywhere, mm -hmm. and she was basically. It seemed like on some amicable shit, like some rumors been going around about him. Not amicable. And it's been, yeah, it was amicable. That, it was amicable. Oh, the split itself. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So like, um, they've been broken up for a while. There were rumors swirling about Iman and I guess whoever he was seen with or whatever else. And she was like, "We've been split up for a while, but we didn't need to tell y'all that because that's my bestie and we still good and we still friends and we whatever." And I think more people need to do that. Like, or no, I think. People do do it, but everyone assumes it's the worst thing just because they're not together. And I think that's fucking stupid. Like some people can have good breakups where it's like, yo, we're still cool. It's no beef. We just outgrew each other. They were together for 10 years, married for seven. And the way they're handling it, I think, is is fucking dope. So stop trying to look for the negative in everything. Like she said what she said and like, leave it alone. Yeah. Yeah, I so, mean, I love you know, the energy that she came with. I do though. love them though, but like you know, um, you know, more love to them. Like I'm, I'm glad they did it like that, and I'm glad they still doing well. You know. Yeah. Uh, thoughts and prayers, man. Um, seven o two. Uh, Iris from seven o two. Yes. Uh, I mean Irish. Why did I say Iris? Irish from seven o two. Um, passed her twin sister passed. Um, Orish passed years ago. I think she might have been in the CeeLo video and that was it. Um, her twin sister, she had passed years ago. Um, and I think either earlier this year or late last year, they said that Iris was out on medical leave um, from the group doing their spots. Um, and nobody, they didn't really ever expand on what it was. And then they came out and said that she had passed. Um, that's so crazy because I used to wear that the the, the self-titled album, the 702 album, I used to wear that album out. And every now and then, I'll get a hold of it and listen to it and wear it out again. Like, I've always been a big 702 fan. I love them. Um, and then they were on, she was just on that show that they had on BET that we watched oh, with the yeah, girl group. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she left early. Yeah. And everyone was talking about how sweet she was. And she was always like the quiet one and all that other stuff. And it's just, it's very sad, man. Yeah. Like, she was only 43, I believe. Only like 43. So, wow. Like, just love to them. Yeah, man. Thoughts and prayers. Yeah. Um, and that brings me to um Q. Q Parker. Q, yeah, yeah, from 112. Um, after the news that uh that Iris uh Irish. Irish. I uh, think this actually happened before she passed, because I saw it on Instagram. Are you sure? Yeah, I saw I saw the car on Instagram. Oh, no, no, no. This was so this was after she passed. Oh, yeah. And that after um and Brandon, he, I Brandon, believe, from Jagged Edge. Jagged Edge got into that really bad car accident. Yeah. Uh thoughts and prayers out to him. Um Q from one twelve. If you don't know, one twelve has been broken up for a couple of years now. Yeah. Um, and you know, he was basically saying that they need to you know, mend it or at least talk. Life is short. Yeah, life is too short to not talk. 
Um, and that, and that's something I think we all need to take with us. Like you never know when it's going to be your time to go yeah. and you, you don't want to leave on bad note. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and you don't want to leave a person with that type of feeling either. Like, damn, I wish we could have mended this. Yeah. I wish I could have said more. I wish I would have said everything that was on my heart, you know, or the fact of, I still love this person in my heart, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I'm mad at them right now. Yeah. You know, um, and when you got when you got history with a person, it makes it even worse. So yeah. um, you know, I hope they're able to come together as men and really talk it out. And, you know, you, they don't have to be in a group anymore, but if they can still be brothers, you know what I mean? That I think this dope. is some advice that you should take. But oh, I'm gonna you. leave that alone because it just felt like you were talking <clears throat> about you. No, man. Um, but you know. Whatever, yo. Like Whatever. you, 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 you. <laughs> I should have said that. No, you should have said that. That's all right. I got people that listen. Okay. And Whatever, man. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> God, get yourselves together. Life is short. Um, what are we watching? I have I'm still watching suits. I'm still watching suits. I'm on season eight. It just started. I've been watching it every morning. Um and you told me it's gonna get stupid after that, but I don't really give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. So what you're saying is it got stupid? But you're no, still I'm still following. I'm invested in the characters. You're invested. Yeah. It's about to end. I found out mad fun facts. If y'all are watching suits, if you're not, don't listen. I don't care. But I found out that Harvey, Harvey and Donna. From... Wait. Okay, say it. I this, I I called him to tell them this because I had just found this out. Harvey Speck is from the BX. Um, I think his name is Gabriel. Harvey Specter. I think that's his real name. He's from the Bronx. Um, Gabriel Machete? Uh, oh or Mac, or I can't, I don't know, but he is from the Bronx. Also, Ooh, Harvey. Like you got to let that chill for a second, I don't though. want to. Also, Harvey and Donna are actual real life best friends. They've been best friends for over 30 years. I just found all this stuff out. Also, the Harvard professor, the ethics professor, is Harvey's real life dad. And I'm gonna keep calling him Harvey because I don't know his last name. But that's his real life dad. So I found out all this stuff. And you know what's dumb about this? That show was on for like 10 years or almost 10 years, but I'm just now coming out with the facts. I found out all this shit and I thought it was cool. But I'm still watching Suits. And did I watch anything else? The only reason I don't judge you about watching Suits is because I liked it so much when it was out. Like that was one of my favorite shows. I'm when it fucking was out. with it. I, I might watch between it again. that and White Collar. I might watch it again. No, you're not gonna put me through that again. I'm almost <laughs> done. Let me finish these seasons. Um, because somebody told me season nine's on Amazon Prime, so I'm gonna watch it right after I'm done with season eight. Um, also, I think I watched the first two parts of Michelle Wolf's special, her comedy, her mm -hmm. on Netflix. Mm -hmm. It's three parts. They're like twenty minutes a piece or something like that. Fifteen, I think. No, they're they're like it's like twenty or something, um, a piece. But it was good. I liked it. And it was cool. She done at different comedy clubs and stuff like that. Like, it was good. I, I have to watch it again because I was watching it. And I was, like, half watching because I was tired. But I liked what I saw. Um, fuck. I feel like I was about to watch something else. I never went back to the ultimatum. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go back at some point. Um, Did you watch something in a day? Like, you watched the whole fucking... Show in a day. Oh, um, mask um, up or something no, like glow that. up, glow up. I watched glow up on Netflix, the makeup show, but I watched <clears> it, <throat> and one of the twins was watching it with me because, um, a lot of the challenges each show they they turn into like creatures, like they make them into creatures, like uh, special effects makeup. So he was watching it. It was like, oh, a tiger. Oh, like he thought it was so cool. And I said, I'm gonna walk in the room. He gonna be in my makeup, and he'll be turning his brother into a dinosaur. And sure enough, <laughs> talking about some. <laughs> and sure Wait. enough, today, <laughs> today, <laughs> I left my makeup out on the bed, and apparently they went in my room, and they both came down, and one of my babies had lipstick on. And it was it was applied pretty well. And he was like, "Mommy, lips, mommy, look lips." I was like, "Get out of my shit!" <laughs> I just I was like, I just knew he was gonna be in there trying to turn him into a dinosaur or a clown because they were turning them into creatures. And he thought it was so cool. It was colors. It was animals. It was like all this stuff. And he was mm. like, "Ooh, mommy, like this is cool." Um, so I might have to do something for them for Halloween. Like I might have to turn them into Paint something. Their face and everything. Yeah, yeah, I might have to do something for them. Yeah. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think that was it. I think that's it. I watched. This week. I watched. Uh, I didn't watch the last episode that came out Tuesday, 
But um, I have been watching Ahsoka. Um, the fifth episode, my man Hayden Christian came back, man. That's my guy right there. You know he's really not. He's Anakin. He's really not Anakin. He is Anakin. Just like, uh, what's his name? Is real Superman? It's like the same thing. <laughs> Henry Cavill. Oh, Henry Cavill is Superman. We've talked about it before. It's like the same thing. Like, there's nobody else that could be him. Yeah, him. man. Like, that's that. Anakin. They brought him back after, what, 10, 15 years or something like that? Nah, I get that. Like, he looked just the same. He I, looks the exact same. Yo, yeah. I was super fucking hype. I was like, oh my. Like, I'm. <laughs> the internet had went out while we was. Uh, uh, the internet been going out a lot. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it ain't the us. Fuck? We paid. I promise. I think we did. Did we? I, I didn't. I didn't pay. I don't know. Okay. Um. But no, the internet had went out, and I was like, I gotta watch this episode because fucking Anakin is back, and I I pulled it up on my phone, and I'm just sitting there like a little kid. I felt just giddy, man. Something that I didn't watch, but I I think I'm gonna go back and watch it. And it's so out of left field, but I saw the clip on TikTok, and now I have to go back and watch SmackDown from last week. Because The Rock came. Oh, yes. With The Rock. Because The Rock came. And I watched that clip. I gave that clip at least a thousand views. I just kept <laughs> replaying it. And I was like, oh, my God. Is that The Rock? And Because uh, who was it? Uh, Pat McAfee was up there. Yeah. And he said something. And it was like, do you smell? And I stood up in the we living room. We discovered Pat McAfee this week. Yeah. Well, I told you I knew who he was. Yeah, but we didn't ever watch the show. We didn't watch his show. Yes. And we discovered it. But I knew it, who he was. And yeah. it's a pretty fucking good show. Like, it's a great idea i get it it's a great I fucking idea it, honestly man. it's a great idea they Pat don't have nothing McAfee, like it I, he listen Stephen a been number one for years but he he, he it's might, a great he idea might drop the number two i don't know i don't know it's a great idea oh uh, man but. um speaking of speaking of Stephen a and uh sports and all of that i watched the colorado versus colorado state game it. Oh my fucking gosh. That's it. one of the best fucking games, college football games that I, maybe one of the best football games I've ever seen. Man. Everybody was like, like Dion got to be great cuz he got us watching college football at 3 a.m. It was like a 4-hour event. Like and when I went when Lil Wayne came out, what the fuck are you doing? This is college. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the Rock was there. Why are y'all there? Get stop. Everybody was there, man. Yeah. Like Kawhi was there, he was awake. Like that joint was crazy, crazy bro. Crazy, crazy. Like I'm yo, yo, I I am officially on the bandwagon. I've been seeing the uh, bandwagon for Colorado Buffaloes. Yeah. I'm on the bandwagon. I'm there. I am there completely. Wait, I so I don't know if this is true, and I can't remember. I saw a meme where it was like, Dion, how many games have y'all won? Three toes. That's that's real. And they showed his three toes. That's real. I knew he only had three toes. You thought that was, you thought he was uh No, was, I knew he only had three toes, but it was the fact that the meme showed his toes, and I was like, Yeah, no, that was real. I was, I, I was wondering how he stand. I thought you needed the big toe to stand, but I guess not. I he killing you did him too. Yeah, he killing him, man. I, maybe it's the pinky toe you need. He to stand. agile. <laughs> Boy, he's he was very That's successful. He was, so he was very successful, very fast. <laughs> he was very he was swift. You know what I mean? Man, was swift. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh shit. Um. I think that's it. Uh, yeah, let's get to a listener question. Uh, this one came through the email. You said it's not a question. It's right? not. You no, know, it's not a question. It's just a story. It's. I don't. Yeah, I guess. Just read it. I'm gonna read it. You want to read this? I'll read the title <clears throat> because that's the only thing I can see from here. Yeah, uh, go the ahead. title says "Stolen Butt Plug." Go. <laughs> <laughs> First and foremost, guys, if you have any questions that you want us to answer or um, any stories to tell us that you want us to go through, um, hit us up at in uh, and then we pod at gmail.com um, or you can hit us up on the Facebook or the Instagram. All of those work. Uh, but this goes. So I have a condo in South Florida that I stay at. On the weekends, about a year ago, my neighbor and I got very acquainted and every weekend it became a guaranteed sex appointment. Tell me why one Friday I pulled up to my house, see that my sex drawer is open and my favorite butt plug and lube are missing. My favorite butt plug. Yeah, Not just that any. Means you got a couple. That's my that's my go to. Hey, man. I guess on the drive down, I didn't check my uh, Snapchat because what I do and what I uh. Because when I do, 
an unread message from my neighbor with my butt plug in his ass. I don't know if I should get turned on or be scared. I'm going to tell you right now, you should be scared. You should be scared. Be like very afraid. Like, That's your special occasion, butt plug. He shouldn't have it just in his ass. But you got to understand, he broke in or he stole it while he was there. Be afraid. Yeah, I think, first of all, butt plugs are aggressive. And I think if, you, if you're willing to steal it and then put it in your ass when no one's around to send a picture. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, a butt plug is not my is not my shit. I don't, <laughs> I don't. That's not my thing. You know, nothing against y'all because I just don't know enough. Um, but I think that it's aggressive, and I think when you steal it, I feel like that's aggressive. Like you stealing. I feel like a butt plug thief is somebody not to be trusted. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't know Mm-mm. because also you don't know where else that butt plug has been. Mm. You don't know who else had that butt plug. Again, that's our special occasion butt plug. It is. And like, why? What you don't know what happened on holidays? I wonder if he washed it off before he put it in his ass. Mm, but does it matter? Because it's in your ass. Not that matters. You got to be good hygiene. Well, ass. he stole it. Do you think he cares about good hygiene? Mm, you're right. Maybe he stole it to smell it before he put it in his ass. Only you would do that. I'm a nasty nigga. Yeah, you, that's something I know. I, I know. All right, that's enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, uh, guys, get those tickets. We are on the road right now. We're on the road to December, man. Probably going to be in January because he doesn't let me take a break for shit. We're about to take a break. We're going <laughs> to see Usher. We are going to see Usher. We're going to Vegas. I'm very, very excited about that. I, I'm going to feel guilty for having fun where it's not work and being out of town away from my babies. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's my Mother's Day gift, and I'm going to take that shit. And we deserve a break. Yeah, we deserve a break. It's yes. been, I know, oh, I know everybody around us thinks that we take breaks all the time, but we just go to different cities. We don't do shit in right. the cities most of the time when we go, so we need a break. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Uh, so that feels about, about, about done. I think it's about, I think, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. All right, so with that being said, and then what? I think you can say, and then we had sex at the end. I don't think I should say that. That's not the title. You're just saying a sentence. With that being said, and then we. No, no, I don't like it. Just say, that's dumb. And then we. Thanks for that's dumb. I think you can say, and then we had sex at the end. At the end. Yeah, it's the sign off. Okay. You know what's crazy? I was going to say that shit anyway. I forgot all about it. Oh, <laughs> for real? <laughs> I just wanted to reassure you that you can still say it. Yeah. All right. So with that being said, and then we had sex, and so should you. Thanks for listening. Ooh, that made my body feel good. What? Saying sex? Yeah. <laughs> say it again. Mufasa. Sex. Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. That's so nice.